The past can be a dark and haunting time. When it haunts you, it's easy to become depressed and the present becomes too much to handle and your thinking can keep you stuck in a rut. That's how Diana felt before she came into coaching sessions with me. She needed help and wanted peace of mind about her past so that she could leave it and move from depression to moving onwards and upwards. With time and commitment, see how stepping out of her comfort zone, Diana is now living again instead of existing and is moving forward in her life with determination to feed herself and reconnecting with her spirituality. When you first came to me, what was that? What was going on? I knew I needed help. I was going into my mind too much and I started getting like I'm going into depression and um, just thinking the worst. And what's changed? A lot. <laughs> A lot has changed. How have these changes affected your relationships? My mom and I, our relationship is good. Every time we speak now and we get off the phone, she'll tell me she wants. And uh, my, the things with Dion, things have changed because I'm not resentful towards him. Like I really had a lot of resentment towards him. Whereas now, like I'm not so focused on the past. I'm more focused on the, if you do it now again, what am I going to do? And what am I going to condone about it? So I'm having a conversation with myself. Like I'm not thinking about the past. Like the past is in the past. and. So I'm not focused on the past. In terms of myself, I feel I'm a lot kinder to myself. I don't feel like I need to be in control of everything. I'm learning which emotions need a lot of my energy and which emotions don't need energy from me at all. I feel a lot of things. Is it relevant or is it not relevant? Is it relevant for the now or relevant for the past? Beautiful, so that awareness. Can I ask you, how did you find our online sessions? Because you're all the way over in Perth. But good, good, because it's early in the morning. It kickstarts me, you know. The sessions have been good. What does life look like now? Onwards and upwards, it's like, because I have control of that. I have a lot of control of the future. I don't have control of the past. And so how does the future look? The future is definitely not going to bring the past along. Beautiful. Beautiful. You have come a long way. Thank you, Lei. Yeah, it's been a good journey. And it's one that I needed. Yeah. Because I think for many years I was just stuck. Stuck in a rut. And I didn't know how to get out of it. How did you find the clearings? Different. <laughs> Very different. How have you benefited from the clearings? I benefited in the way that I'm more aware of my surroundings. Not observant, aware. There's a difference. Right? I've always been an observant person, but I'm more aware of my surroundings. I'm more aware of myself as well. So I've benefited in the sense that uh, my awareness is a lot stronger, but I can also decipher whether the awareness is something I need to go into or something I just stay away from. Um, and it's also helped me in the sense that um, I, I, the people that I, I love, I don't have to be angry towards them. Um, I can feel something towards them, but it doesn't need to be anger. And I can be vulnerable. It's okay to be vulnerable, but also to be aware of my vulnerability. You have, you have moved, as you said, 20 steps, if not more. Sometimes I feel like I'm going backwards, but I know I'll never go as far back as what I was in February. Never. Yeah, yeah, because you've learned so much more now about how to take those steps again. Like I've learned a lot in this freaking four months than I have in a long, 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 long time. Like a lot. Because even through all of this, my spirituality, the clearings, the understandings, I still have to love a normal life. I still have to go on about my life like everything is normal. But what I love is that you're no longer existing anymore. 
I don't want to exist anymore because that's literally what I was doing. I was existing. I was existing spiritually. I was existing physically. I was I was existing emotionally and mentally. And thus, my year seven. <laughs> <laughs> Um, has forced me out of my comfort zone after we did two clearing hours. I'm grateful that I can acknowledge when I'm not coping. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing now? Now you're no longer resisting. No, I'm not. Like, like that's why I said to you onwards and upwards. Like, uh, I'll constantly be thinking of ways to feed my self. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much, Leigh. You yeah. have no idea how much you've saved me <laughs> <laughs> from my own mind. Yeah, it's a pretty powerful place in there, isn't it? <laughs> it's extremely powerful. And that's the thing, like, I can't understand. Like, I'm I'm very, like, my mind, I can control my mind a lot. Subconscious mm. is pretty powerful, isn't it? <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. And now, like, there's even things that will come up that happen, like, way back, and I'm like, oh, yeah. And I'll just let it go. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm not convinced that yeah, this year was all about my spirituality and happening to that side of my life. Then I don't know, I'll be stupid not to be convinced about it. I mean, it was that, it was your stuff, it was um, my thing in February. Everything just points to spirituality, anything and everything that I read. It points to that. When we tap into that unconscious part of our brain, we're tapping into that higher self, that intuitive part of us that we quite often ignore because we live out of our conscious part of our brain, that oh. ego part. And when we actually make friends with it, all right, and get past it and tap into those beautiful resources in that unconscious part of us, we're tapping into so much untapped potential, which is what you've done. Um, I think you're like, you have no idea. <laughs> how much you help me yeah no 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 I know. Oh, well, thank you so much for even just making that phone call and going on your intuition i really really appreciate it and and sensing the need that it was something that i needed yeah. sooner rather than later yeah and look where you are so yes i'm very grateful to you life um, mm. for that phone call you made that sunday afternoon when i was in such a lot of emotion. Mm. Um, bye bye. Okay, bye, gorgeous. See you. <laughs> bye. Bye. Are you a loved one ready to let go of the past for a better future? Online coaching and hypnotherapy offers an alternative solution in the comfort of your own home via video chat or phone call anywhere in the world with no travel necessary. No matter where you live, you can access help to overcome depression, anxiety, or any other struggles you may be experiencing right now. Contact me and together we'll work towards getting your life back on track so that you can get clarity, focus, and be motivated to move forward towards achieving your goals and living life with happiness and fulfillment again.